the K Fun. Oh, hold on. Is from a company called Svomesto. Uh, they are in Russia. The device is designed by Svomesto, uh, but it is actually manufactured in Germany. Uh, so it's designed in Russia, uh, machined in Germany, and this is the uh, the 3.1 ES uh, version of the K Fun. There have been a number of different versions of the K Fun that have come out. Um, this is 3.1. I'm not. I, I'm actually not familiar with what the differences were between the 3.0 and the 3.1. But this is the 3.1. Like I said, um, it is. It is a really well made, really well machined device. Um, and I like the look of it too. It's a little bulky, but I, I, I do like it. Um, hold on, let me take a bait. Yeah, and yeah, it works real well. We'll we'll get into that though in a little bit. So it's uh, it's stainless steel all the way through. It's got a standard 510 connection with an adjustable center pole. Um, it can be um, it can be uh, configured with or without the the window so that you can see the juice. Um, it has adjustable airflow and um, it holds a lot of juice. It, it holds 4.5 milliliters standard and then you can get extensions for it so that it holds even more juice and the thing is just like honking big. Um, it's about tw it's 22 millimeters wide. It's a 22 millimeter device. Um, with the uh, the window portion at the window it's um, this is with the Macrolon window which is the extension window. Uh, it's actually 23 millimeters wide using that window on it, uh, 22 with the stainless steel, and it is about 60 millimeters long. So it's a tall, it is a tall device. And then, like I said, the extended one is even bigger. So um, it's large, holds a lot of juice. Uh, I think it looks really cool personally. Um, it's a nice looking design. You can set it up with or without a um, your own drip tip. I'm using the the K Fun drip tip on there, so you can actually unscrew this piece right here, and then put a 510 drip tip into that if you want to. So um, here I'll show you what it comes with. Now this is the standard kit. Uh, so it comes with some extra o-rings in this little baggie and then if you look in here you can see that little metal piece right there um, that is actually the part that screws into the top right here uh, so that you can put a 510 drip tip in there this drip tip is part of that piece and all attached in one piece there you also get this little keychain tool that has a um, a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver on it, both of which you need uh, for this device. The flathead is for controlling the airflow, and the Phillips head is for um, uh, rebuilding. Um, it also comes with, now I have it set up with the clear window so that you can see the juice in there. It also has the stainless steel version in the same matching finish. Uh, you can see it, that would be right there. Um, and it also comes with this little handy dandy filling bottle. So the little filling bottle, um, you have to fill it with the filling bottle because the way that this device works is um, it creates like a suction internally, it creates a vacuum um, that prevents the device from uh, leaking. If you don't fill it with this filling device then you will have um, pressure regulation issues. Like if you were to just fill it from the top and then screw it down then juice would start leaking out. Uh, you have to fill it with this little um, filling device and the way that you would do that is you'll see right here hold on, um, so there's a couple different there's a couple holes on the side here. You have um, this guy, which is the screw 
that is for adjusting the airflow and then you turn it this is the actual airflow that's where the air is coming in and then we turn it one more time and then this is the fill hole uh, which has a valve in it um, that opens when you jam this little guy in there so you actually will and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill it up but you will you know tilt it down and then put this little guy so that the plastic piece fits into the valve until it kind of pops in and then fill it. You don't want to fill it too fast, just kind of go slowly um, and you don't want to overfill it. You'll know because it'll start, juice will start coming out of the air hole. Um, even if you do, it's not going to hurt anything, but um, yeah. So you basically you want to fill it like this so that while you're filling it, it's not pushing juice out of the um, out of the air hole. So if you fill it upright like this, the juice will actually get pushed into where the wick chamber is and where the airflow comes in and the juice can leak out the air. So you want to tilt it the other way when you fill it out. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, Diz, actually, I wonder if, if wear and tear on the valve is going to be an issue. You know, like I said, I haven't had a problem. Um, it, it's, you know, it's working fine, but then again, I've only used it for a week, so, um, that could be, that could be problematic over time, I don't know, though, um, yeah, so, anyway, I'm gonna take a vape on it, though. This is the KFUN 3.1 ES that we're talking about, Don. I've got it on top of a JM22. We just finished the JM review. We're, we're, we're going over the KFUN now. So, um, the KFUN, I'm going to pop something up on the screen real quick, if you give me one sec here. Hold on. I want you guys to see this real quick, because the thing with this device... Um, is I can't uh, disassemble it to show you what the inside looks like, so I'm going to do this instead. This is from the owner's manual. You can see this across the top here. And I'll cover up part of my head there. So basically, the way that this works is if you look at number two uh, directly above me, number two has um, two posts on there with two screws, very, very short posts. And what you do is you don't need to use resistance or non-resistance wire on this. It's resistance only. Um, you know, you wrap your coil around your wick and you just attach it at the two screws there. And then what you're going to do is you push I did a multi-loop wick to, to, to improve the wicking and have the, the wick hold as much juice as possible. And I tucked some of the wick down into the spaces um, to the left and to the right of that um, of where those posts are on number two on the screen. And then I, t I pointed some of them up into the cup at the base of part number three that you see on the screen there. And I found that um, with that setup, I didn't have any issues with it flooding, um, and I didn't have any issues with, um, you know, uh, under wicking or over wicking or, uh, you know, the air flows fine. Um, it is a silica device. Um, this is not something that you, I mean, I, you could probably figure out a way to set it up with mesh, but it's definitely not designed to be set up with mesh. Uh, it's designed to be set up with silica. Um, but I'll get into that a little bit more when I get a little deeper into the review here. So, um, where you can get it, you can get it at a couple of different places. They carry it at Cloud9 Vaping. Um, if you want to go straight to the source, uh, you want to go to sfomesto.ru. Um, you are going to want to use Google Translate or some other kind of translator on the website in, unless you speak Russian. Um, it is in Russian on the site. Um, you 
uh, once you get to that site, you click on shop on the top once it translates, and then you'll be able to see what's in stock, what's not in stock, etc. Uh, it does take a long time to ship from there. I found it ships much quicker from Cloud9, but, uh, you know, they're in stock at different times. It's also available at... Oh, Vaporev has them now. I didn't know that. Uh, it's also available at intaste.de in um, Germany. And apparently it's also at Vaporev. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, it's a silica, like I said. Uh, you know, I'm not, I can't pull it apart because then I wouldn't be able to pull it, put it back together and vape it to show you guys. So, um, it's tough when you're doing a live review. I can't just, you know, take it apart, show it, stop the camera, put it back together, start it up again. So, sorry. Um, it's really easy to set up, though, I have to say. Uh, you know, obviously there's no oxidation involved. Uh, you don't have to twist any negative and, 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 and non-resistance and resistance wire. Um, very easy. You just, you know, you fold your wick over a couple times, wrap a coil around it, uh, you know, test the resistance with a multimeter and, a, and attach it. And, and you're done. Or if you know how many wraps you want uh, and have a general idea of what the resistance is going to be without testing it, great. That's fantastic. So, um, the quality of the vape from this device. Um, I have to say, um, out of all of the uh, silica wick type devices that I had used uh, before this device, um, it's got the best flavor. This is better than any of the GG products that I've used. Um, it's better than the flavor. Well, it's pretty. It's pretty comparable. Maybe a little bit better than the flavor even on the the K Fun version two, uh, which I had um, a long time ago. Um, Yeah, Diz, I am, I'm actually going to talk about another Bashik product later uh, as the next review on the show, and I'm also really excited about the Big Ben that you just mentioned too. I'm, um, I don't know if you saw the list, but I'm on there already. Uh, I will be getting one of those. I'm a huge fan of Art of the Exhale. I'm a borderline fanboy. He makes really awesome stuff, so, but, um... I can't. I haven't tried that one yet. So, so this this one is the best that I had tried up until this point. We'll see if that if the Big Ben outdoes it. But um, but like I said, this is this is better than the flavor I got from the Odysseus. It's better than the flavor that uh, I, I got from a Penelope. Um, it's cleaner. The vapor production is excellent. The you know I'd like the adjustable airflow on it that doesn't involve um, having it to attach it to a device that has adjustable airflow uh, yeah it's true not borderline I am a I am a, a fanboy of Bashik it's true uh, he makes awesome stuff though I can't help it so um, let me let me take another vape here hold on so as you can see I mean the vapor productions there it's really good uh, you know, a lot of that will depend on the, how the setup is. Um, a lot of that will depend on um, how you adjust the airflow, because obviously the more airflow you're going to get, um, more uh, vapor production. Uh, also, the coil and wick setup has a lot to do with it, too. How close you set it to the airflow uh, will actually affect um, how much throat hit and how much vapor production you get. Um, and how you line it up with the air hole as well, but 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 overall, it's got very good vapor production. The flavor is fantastic, especially for you know a silica device. It's very clean. I don't taste the silica on this like I do on on some other devices. Um, it's really really good. Um, the fl the the vapor is warm. It's um, you know, which which helps enhance the flavor some too. Uh, I, I do find that juices, different juices taste different um, on the device. Like creamier stuff, I find taste tends to taste better on silica, and and fruitier stuff tends to taste better on uh, Genesis style. So I put um, uh, that 
uh, punk and tumble stuff from uh, from Allison Vapeland in this one because I wanted to put a creamy one in here. I was going to try Grant's in here too, but I didn't get around to it. But it's a really good vape. Um, you know, overall, it's a real nice device. It's a little big, uh, but the quality of the vape that you get more than makes up for the fact that it's a large device. Um, the only negatives are, you know, that it is big. Um, I don't love... I don't know. I don't trust anything that is kind of vacuum seal uh, pressure regulated that's preventing it from leaking. Um, you know, this is something you got to be really careful with on an airplane, for example. Uh, you know, you wouldn't be able to, to fill this and take it with you on a, on, a, on an airplane because it'll leak all over the place. Uh, I don't know how that valve is going to hold up over time. We'll see. Um, but. But yeah, it's really, really clean flavor, and it, it tastes fantastic, uh, and and the vapor production is fantastic too, as as you saw. Uh, I'm gonna take another puff off of this before I wrap up the review. So yeah, I mean it's good vapor, flavor's awesome. Definitely give this device a thumbs up, and I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, especially if if you have the money to spend and you're looking for something that's going to be easier to set up than a Genesis. Um, this is definitely easier to set up than a Genesis. Um, so yeah, that's the KFun 3.1. It's it's very very good. Highly recommend it. Um, well done, Sfomesto. Good stuff.